So a few days ago, Juan Pablo Rodriguez Carrera kindly asked me to do a rundown of the animated movies coming out in 2013, and I am happy to oblige. Now, while the Weinstein Company supposedly has four animated picks set for 2013, only one has a set release date, and that's Escape from Planet Earth, which opens February 14th. Partnering with Rainmaker Entertainment, who produces all those direct-to-video Barbie and Beast Wars animated movies, the Weinsteins have once again assembled an impressive voice cast, including Brendan Fraser, Rob Corddry, Jane Lynch, and William Shatner. This action flick where aliens must escape from Area 51 is directed by Callan Brunker, who was formerly part of Chris Melodondry's team. It seems to be another example of the Weinstein Company's quantity over quality game plan. Remember Planet 51? Most people don't. But everyone knows DreamWorks Animation. And come March, they'll be releasing their first flick via their new distribution deal with Fox. Big news is with both DreamWorks and Blue Sky Studios, Fox will become a much more significant contender in the animation arena. But The Croods is a bit of a gamble. While it's the next project from Chris Sanders, who dreamed up both Lilo and Stitch and How to Train Your Dragon, a film about a Neanderthal family might be a tough sell. Plus, doesn't the Journey franchise already have this kind of exotic family adventure covered? Now remember how I said Fox has rapidly expanded its animation footprint? Well, get ready for them to flex that muscle as they're the studio behind the next animated pick of the year as well, May's Epic. This is Blue Sky Studios' most ambitious film yet, fueled by their huge success of the Ice Age franchise in Rio. Some of us like to tease Epic that it's like Fern Gully 2, but I think deep down we all realize it looks pretty cool. Let's just hope it has a great story to go along with those visuals. Then in June, Pixar enters the fray with its first of two sequels of the year, Monsters University. The other is Planes, a Cars spin-off that was supposed to go direct to video, but has been upgraded to a theatrical release in August. And I use the term upgraded very loosely. Who'd ever think that the studio, which initially refused to even make sequels, would pass up producing an original story for two franchise extensions? But I suppose we can't be too hard on them with everyone else in the sequel game as well. Despicable Me 2 hits theaters for 4th of July with Steve Carell's Gru this time going up against Al Pacino and Steve Coogan. I'd see that, and you probably will too, as the original Despicable Me was a boffo hit that put Illumination Entertainment on the map. Plus, Sony looks to build on two of their own past hits. First is the Smurfs 2 in late July, where our little blue friends go to Paris and Smurfette flirts with her wild side. The first Smurfs movie made over $500 million worldwide. Then in September, there's Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. It may have been four years since the first flick, but Revenge of the Leftovers sees the entire voice cast return, with the exception of Mr. T, who will be replaced by Terry Crews. But there are a few original animated movies hitting theaters as well. Well, sort of. In addition to The Croods, Fox is getting another two animated movies from DreamWorks Animation, giving them a grand total of four for the year. Either they're going to make a ton of money or flood the market. There's the Cars ripoff Turbo, where a snail, thanks to a freak accident, becomes super fast and enters the world of racing. Then in November, we'll get Mr. Peabody and Sherman, based on characters from the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. Modern Family's Ty Burrell voices the smartest dog in the world who has a pet boy and must fight his nemesis, voiced by Stephen Colbert. This is Rob Minkoff's first animated flick for DreamWorks after the Lion King director defected from Disney and briefly and unsuccessfully flirted with live-action directing. But Disney has arguably saved the best for last with Thanksgiving's Frozen. This adaptation of The Snow Queen is another CGI fairy tale a la Tangled, but will also be a musical. The cast of Idina Menzel, Kristen Bell, and Glee's Jonathan Groff have already whipped animation fans and musical theater fans into a frenzy, and Disney is teasing some great visuals. It's shaping up to be a mega hit and most likely a return to form for the legendary animation studio, already on its way after this year's Wreck-It Ralph. So does 2013 seem like a good year for animation to you? And while we're all eager to see some of these sequels, has Hollywood gone a bit overboard? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.